What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode. And in today's content, we're going to be demonstrating how to remove, organize, or add tiles to either the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 or the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. Now for reference, I am using the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro for this tutorial, but I have verified that this procedure also works with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. That being said, this content is featured on the Samsung Galaxy playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. So here we are with the Watch 5 Pro. Let's talk about how to delete a tile first. So as I scroll, you're going to see that I have plenty of tiles here, maybe too many for some users, so we are going to delete one. So simply scroll to the one you wish to delete. We'll use the route one here. We're going to press and hold and it's going to show a minus icon. It disappears fairly quickly there, so you have to be quick in tapping that minus icon. Press and hold, release, tap it, and that's going to get rid of the tile. Now we can back out of this option here to delete tiles by tapping that side key there. You can see it makes the tile full screen again there. Next, we may want to reorganize our tiles. So if we scroll here, you're going to see that I have my sleep tile and I may want it ahead of this tile here. So I'm going to scroll to the sleep tile. We're going to press and hold. It's going to zoom out there and then we can press and hold on the tile. Again, you can see it disappears really quick. So press and hold and then press and hold again and then drag to where you'd want it. Now, I will say this does require a lot of precision. If I want to get it between these two, it is a challenge. And that's one of the problems here. So I'm going to try to drop it into place. You can see this takes a few attempts, but there we go. I've got the sleep tile in between, and then we can press the side key again it's going to back out of that option. And finally, we can add a tile. Now I'm going to scroll to the very end of my tiles and you can see we have a very extensive list here. So there are plenty of options already on here. We're going to get to this add tiles option. We're going to tap on it. And then we would scroll to a tile that we wish to select. Now we're going to run through some of these because they're very useful. We've got a buds controller tile. We've got a calendar tile hand washer tile, timer tile, contacts tile, Google Maps tile, up next tile, reminder tile, blood oxygen tile, daily activity tile, food tile, health summary tile, route tile, steps tile, together tile, women's health tile, weather tile, world clock tile, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go with the steps tile. We're going to tap on it and that's going to add it to the list here. And if we press and hold, you're going to see it's going to be at the very end there. So again, if we want to move it more towards the front, we can do this drag option. Take some moment here. If you're working with a lot of different ones, I'm going to try to add this between the sleep again. You can see very challenging. It doesn't really, I, w I wish this was a little bit better because if you're doing it this method, this is not easy to do. You're kind of just dropping it into place and hoping that it lands where you want it. And then again, once we get it where we want it, we can actually tap that side key again. We're going to zoom back into the tile. And that is it. So that is it for today's content. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah. <laughs>